Jesus said, I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Right in the middle of the 15th chapter of John's Gospel, Jesus delivers the punchline. He tells us the staggering reward we can expect for obeying his commandments to love one another. Complete joy. That adjective complete cannot be misinterpreted. It means one and only one thing. Nothing left out. Joy that satisfies every single little or big desire we may have. Can you even imagine that kind of joy? It's downright scary sometimes to imagine it, and yet it is the reward that Jesus promises us. Now the challenge we must complete is a great one indeed. He minces no words in terms of what he means by the command to love one another. He's not just talking about the people we like. He's talking about everybody whose life crosses paths with ours, even those halfway around the globe, even those distanced from us in time. We are to love them all, and we are to love them with an all-encompassing, sacrificial sort of love, one that without a second thought agrees to lay down one's life for one's friends. This is a pretty high hurdle to clear, but Jesus tells us, should we accomplish it faithfully, we can expect nothing less than complete joy. Not a single thing left out. Every last desire gloriously fulfilled, and then some. As far as I'm concerned, that is a reward worth fighting for with everything I've got. I hope you agree. <laughs>